This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for October 22nd. Until the late 1990s, individuals interested in Austrian economics, U.S. constitutional history, and libertarian philosophy had few sources of information. They had to spend hours scouring used bookstores or the back pages of obscure libertarian periodicals to find the great works of Mises, Rothbard, and Hayek, and other giants of liberty. Local library and university collections ignored libertarian politics and economics. Today, however, the greatest classics of libertarian thought, libertarian philosophy, and the libertarian economics are available instantly to anyone with Internet access. Sir, you're getting very close to me. I don't like that. Yeah, good. Give me your license or registration insurance card. Sir, am I under arrest? Thanks to the Internet, it is easier than ever before for liberty activists to spread news and other information regarding the evils of government power and the benefits of freedom. For the first time in human history, supporters of liberty around the world can share information across borders quickly and cheaply without the filter of government censors. This information emboldens millions to question governments and promote liberty. This is why liberty-minded Americans must do everything possible to oppose and stop government attempts to censor or limit the free flow of information online. One such attempt is known as CISPA or the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act. This bill will create a monstrous coalition of big business and big government to rob Americans of their protections under the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. CISPA permits both the federal government and private companies to view your private online communications with no judicial oversight, provided they merely do so in the name of cybersecurity. But America is a constitutional republic, not a surveillance state, and the widely overhyped need for security does not trump the Constitution. Cybersecurity is the responsibility of companies that operate and make money in cyberspace, not taxpayers. Those companies should develop market-based private solutions to secure their networks, servers, cloud data centers, and user-consumer information. The role of the U.S. intelligence community is to protect the United States from military threats, not to provide corporate welfare to the private sector. Much like the TSA at the airport, CISPA would socialize security costs and remove market incentives for private firms to protect their own investments. Imagine security cleared agencies embedded at private companies to serve as conduits for intelligence information about their customers back to the U.S. intelligence community while enjoying immunity from any existing civil or criminal laws. Imagine Google or Facebook reporting directly to the National Security Agency about the online activity of the U.S. citizen. Imagine U.S. government resources being wasted on a grand scale to assist private companies in the global market. All of this would become reality under CISPA. As of this writing, it appears that the House and Senate will not agree on a final version of CISPA this year. However, the Obama administration seems ready to impose provisions of this bill by executive order if Congress does not act soon. The past five years have seen an explosion in the liberty movement, fueled in large part by the Internet. Preserving that freedom is crucial if the liberty movement is to continue its progress. Therefore, all activists in the liberty movement have a stake in the battle for Internet freedom. We must be ready to come together to fight any attempt to increase government's power over the Internet, regardless of the supposed justifications. We must resist voices from both the political right and left, which ultimately seek to legislate morality and enforce political correctness with force. Copyright protection, pornography, cyber terrorism, gambling, and hate speech are merely excuses for doing what all governments have done throughout human history, increase their size, scope, and power. Once we understand this, we understand the critical link between Internet freedom and human freedom. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of... Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. 
Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone, plus get this, blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.